Have you ever been rejected? I have, and I'm guessing most of us would say, yes, I've experienced rejection in life. In 1 Samuel 29, as we walk daily in the Word, David, who has already been anointed as the next king of Israel, is facing rejection, not only by his king, King Saul, but by the Philistines as well. At this point in David's life, he has formed an alliance with Achish, the Philistine king. But as they are marching into battle, the Philistine commanders complain, what are these Hebrews doing here? King Achish responds in verse 3, This is David, the servant of King Saul of Israel. He's been with me for years now, and I've never found a single fault with him from the day he arrived until today. But the Philistine commanders were angry, verse 4. Send him back to the town you've given him, they demanded. He can't go into battle with us. What if he turns against us in battle and becomes our adversary? And you have to admit, these guys had a pretty good point. David and Saul aren't on the best of terms. And what better way for David to get back into Saul's good graces than for him to turn on the Philistines? They know David. They've heard the song that was sung about him. They may have even been a little bit jealous of his relationship with their own king. So after discussing the matter, David submits to King Achish and turns back to the land of the Philistines. So what's this story about David have to do with you and I today? Well, I think it shows us an important quality of someone who's described as a man after God's own heart, that quality of submission to authority. As followers of Jesus, we're encouraged in Scripture to exhibit this quality in our lives. Peter said this, For the Lord's sake, submit to all human authority, whether the king as head of state or the officials as his appointed. For the king has sent them to punish those who do wrong and to honor those who are doing right. So let me encourage you, for the Lord's sake, follow the example of David and humble yourself. Submit to the authority God has placed in your life today and experience the rich blessings of the Lord that follow that.